we have a hypothetical situation here where we need to put banana bunches into our fruit boxes that we can give to family and friends. And the requirements for these fruit boxes are that there's only a certain number of bananas on those bunches and there's only a certain number of those particular bunches that can fit into the box. So we have two classes here that represent those two items. The first one here is banana bunch, which allows you to set the amount of bananas that are on that bunch. Then we have the actual fruit box. And the fruit box has some requirements here. Again, the requirements are the number of bananas that can be on the bunch. So that's the bunch banana count and the max number of bunches, those particular bunches with this particular count that can fit into this box. Below that, we have an array for each one. We have an array for the bunches and array for the boxes. And each one of these bunches, they have a certain number of bananas on those bunches. So we want to make sure that we fit those correct bunches into the correct boxes. As you can see here, we have the first one that can only fit bunches that have one banana on it. So technically it's not really a bunch and it can only fit a single bunch that has a single banana on it. The one below it can fit two bunches that have two bananas on it. The last one here can fit two bunches that have three bananas on it. Down here we have the, the case that we need to fulfill. So we need to create a list for each one of these boxes and in those lists, we need to put which bunches will fit into those particular boxes. And if they don't fit in the box, then we need to have a, another list for the doesn't fit bunches and we need to report that out. Now to do this, we're going to use the reduce method in Ruby. Now you can take a look at the documentation if you'd like to see more examples, but this is going to be an example of how to create a hash of arrays that are labeled for each one of the boxes and for the doesn't fit array. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to iterate or loop through the boxes up here. So we're going to loop through each box and we're going to check if the bunch, the bunch that we're looping through here in reduce. So technically there's two loops. There's an outer loop going on and there's an inner loop here. So with the outer loop, we have that bunch and we need to check if the count is equal to the box bunch banana count. And if it does, then it can technically fit into that box. So next we need to check, does that box have room? So if the hash box banana bunch count, so we're going to set the key for the, the hash value pair to be the, the, the max number of bananas that can fit on that, that particular bunch. So we're going to set it to that. We're going to check the length of the array. And if the box max bunches is less than the current count of the bunches in that box, then we can fit this additional bunch. So box bunch banana count can now get that new bunch and we can place that into that box. Now one thing we need to make sure is that this key value pair exists. Otherwise it's going to throw an error that it's not able to find it. So we want to go ahead and set that to an empty array if it doesn't exist. And we can check by using the hash keys to see if that includes the box banana bunch count key. Next, we need to make sure that once we have this match, we're not continually going through this loop. So the next thing we do is we can just say fit is true and break. And the reason why I put fit is true is because we're going to use that in this next area. So if that bunch doesn't meet the criteria of both fitting into the banana bunch count requirement and being able to fit in the box, then we need to put it in a doesn't fit list. So we're going to create that doesn't fit down here. So if it doesn't fit, so if fit is not true, then we want to first check to see if the doesn't fit list is there. So we have that key value pair. And if it doesn't, then we need to create it just like we did above with the box banana bunch count. Once we have that, then we can go ahead and put that bunch into the doesn't fit list. 
Now the last thing we need to do with reduce is we need to return that hash because we technically change some of the values in that hash on this line and on this line here. So we need to return that changed hash as the last value. By having hash here, this is the same as doing a return hash, but Ruby does that for you. I actually need to fix one thing before we run that. And now with that code, we should be able to run this. All right, and you can see that we get that doesn't fit, the banana bunches that fit in box two, the banana bunches that fit in box one, and the banana bunches that fit in box three. Again, these keys here are set using the banana bunch count that you get right here.